one way or another, don't we? Yeah, we 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 did sign some sort of contract. Uh, yeah. there, this guy named Brian the Gamer who won a token, he gave us a contract saying you're not allowed to leave until I say so. So. Yeah, someday a white van pulled out in front of my driveway and I was just pulled in and now I'm sitting here in this commander booth telling interesting stuff about Pokemon and let's have a look at the teams. On the blue side we've got a Venusaur, a Gardevoir and Skitty. Not exactly in that order, but nevertheless. <laughs> it's an order, alright. And on the red team there is Skorupi, Granbull and Combi. Indeed, we've got bees! So, uh, yeah, a scorpion against a kitten, a strange plant against a dog, and uh, whatever, Venusaurus against bees. We've got a very animal, animal-like match up. Well, I got new. I, I, I got. A, I got a call from Brian the gamer just now. Some taxi. You want to know what he said? All right, let's let's go. On. He said he told us to keep our asterisks in the booth. Well, I guess we have no chance then. Staying in here. Just us and the asterisk is. is that's a weird word. Asterisks. Basically. Asterisky to use it. Astuli. All right, I guess we're staying with our asterisks in the booth. Meanwhile, a lot of crates are opened as we're approaching to the next match. We've got one minute to bet, and the odds are really even. So, if you want to rig the odds by inputting like 10k, feel free to do so. This is a good remix of Magikarp Festival, with all these other Pokémon joining in. It's a, it's, a, it's a festival for all Pokémon, really. There's no card like Magikarp. Although, I gotta say, I'm to this day I'm still disappointed that this is only a betting song. I wish it was a battle song. No, my favorite uh, betting song is, I guess, Katamari Under Rocks. Oh, whose isn't? It's the best betting song. It's a I think What's that's that a mole trace. Of... Oh well. And for opening another crate. Looked like it was a token. Oh well, this 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 shiny orange thing is a token. Now I imagine someone sitting on a big pile of balls. Alright, Zelda against John Cena in this uh, very dramatic music. I love this song. Thanks for the Kingdom Hearts music. And we start off by switching. So, uh... There are some strats involved, Thunder Wave hits. And Red right. was paralyzed. Red Bull doesn't have a great type advantage against the other Pokemon, so I guess that's why they sent it out first. Nevertheless, it hits putting down Skitty to half HP, so uh, this was an effective move. Kitty's response on that was rather a light hit, and Grenville is an advantage, although it's paralyzed. There we go. You said that perfectly in time. It's as if you knew all along. Yes, I am inside the Matrix. I see the RNG. We are the PBR. I met RNG Jesus sitting on his... Uh, Numeral throne. Nevertheless, Skitty's down and uh, putting Red in advantage, even though the Perilous still is in place. Not sure if Granbull is super powerful if, or if Skitty is just really that weak. The Colosseum! <gasps> Ooh. 
Ooh, Gardevoir was taken out in one hit due to a critical hit. Oh well. The red team is now in a big advantage over blue, as blue has the Venusaur. Will it be able to do the reverse sweep? Slime by Sludge. Not a sludge bomb, just sludge. Yep. Just sludge there. Didn't even need to be any bomb. Now let's see if we're going to go for the scorpion or the beast. Thanks, Mewtwo. I think that, well, no, that was in the Mewtwo. Venusaur was in for another sludge against the beast. Which is quite a lot of damage and poison. Ooh. Not good for Kombi, but it's going to hit hard with Aerial Ace, or actually not that hard. Well, I expect a bit more damage on the effective move. Yeah, me too. Alright, Kombi is in big despair as Windsor goes in for Nature Power. Which is going to be try attack, but uh, it already has this major stat change. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Kombi. So yeah, we're in an even 50-50 now. More yeah, or less. It's gonna, it's gonna come down to this uh, tiny bug to take out this giant uh, tree dinosaur uh, thing. Yes, fly-catching dinosaur thing with a big flower on his head. Mm-hmm. Scroopy goes in for the egg scissor. Will it be able to do a critical? No, it won't. When so goes in for another nature power, will it turn out to try attack again? Yes, it will. So there goes into try attack. Solid hit. Yeah, about half health, but does not get the lucky uh, status condition. I know what they yes, are. Indeed. There's our free spurn and paralyzer if I'm not mistaken. But it got Venusaur confused, so we got some hacks in here. Nature Power, nevertheless, is set to try attack again. I think this is it. Will it be enough? Ooh! Oh. Holds on with one HP! Oh, Just as yeah. calculated, I'm sure. Perfectly calculated, Skarupi goes in for his accessor after getting pumped. Venusaur barely though. holds on. And Venusaur snaps out of confusion. Nothing worked out for the red team in, in, in the end. This was indeed a little inconvenient. A rather anticlimactic finish, unfortunately. Tried to get a lucky crit or a lucky confusion. None of them happened. But a good game nonetheless. Congratulations to the blue team on your 74% payout. Which is quite solid, while John Cena goes whining and waiting. Clean stalls! Oh god. Where's that? And we're back in the side game. Where we got a big debate about where we should change the Pokemon or not. Uh, right at the moment we've got a rather B-sided decision. But I don't want to say anything before it's done. I remember Brian saying something a bit about eggs. Like, not hatched eggs, or you shouldn't bet on chickens which didn't hatch eggs. Oh, well, I forgot. Where? Whatever. So, uh, we're back into betting. 
Let's see what teams the random number generator will drop out for us. So, uh, on the right team this time, on the red team this time, we've got a Rhyhorn, a Monferno, and a Shellgon. And on the blue team, there's a Pichu, a Cacturn, and a Combi. Bees? Again? Bees! It's a slightly different bee, though. This one doesn't have aerial ace. Nevertheless, bees. They're everywhere. On the other hand, bees aren't as bad as wasps are. Bees are just producing honey and getting some of the times in its way while wasps basically want to kill you and everyone you ever met. And it is a surfing peach, I actually noticed that just just now. I remember there was some card, some Pokemon card which was special and had a surfing Pichu on it. We've got uh, one and a half minute left as the odds are heavily raked on red side, so if you want to get some immersive payout, blue side is the side to choose. Then again, I'm not giving betting advice. Like, later some people will play me, oh, I bet it on blue side. How could you? How could you? Yes, how could I? Wow, 999. Oh well, for the oh. longest time. I just wanted, I, I was just about to say, no one bet anything. I just wanted to be 999% forever. Nah, well. So, uh, we remain with 10% on the red side, so this is a heavily biased game. About 30 seconds left, get those bets in if you want a piece of that. Uh, currently 567% payout, but uh, going down fast. We're at five, at roughly at 500 now, so... Uh, uh, never mind, we're going in for 306, so it's still a big amount of to win. But going down fast. And people really like the red team, which is kind of surprising considering that uh, Pichu should immediately take out this Rhyhorn with its uh, Surf or Grass Knot attacks. Maybe, Maybe it won't be enough though. It's a small Maybe. Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe there are some strats involved that I don't see. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I'm a, I'm a terrible PPR player. I mostly just uh, bet on some team I, I have the feeling is better. Yeah. Alright, so Pichu goes in for its first surf. Why are soaked by surf and immediately taken out in one hit? Well, that serves him right. Hey. It's getting punny again. That's what you get for being a uh, ground type. Yeah, and then we're going in with the fire type. Smonferno is going to come in. It's a. Uh, it's going to do something interesting. It's going to get a fake out that's going to flinch Pichu and also break its focus sash. Oh, they don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, we got the flinch, and let's see. How are we going from here? Mock punch. Go yes, indeed. And it's going in for a solid hit, putting down Pichu. No Surferino there. Great attacks from the red team. Very well coordinated. And they avoid, uh... Oh. It doesn't have static ability. So there we have some strange piece of fauna. Of flora. Flora? Fauna? I don't know. Basically it's both. As it, Monferno goes in for a blaze kick, which is very effective, putting Hector down to low HP. Yeah. Thunder Punch is gonna not deal a whole lot. Gonna go for the Paralysis. Doesn't get it. 
So I guess this is it for Cacturna, unless Monferno is something incredibly stupid, but it doesn't. It has nothing but attacks, so it uses one. Takes out Cacturna really quickly. Alright, there we got the bees. I think this uh, match seems already a little biased. Mm, not a great move from Monferno, just a mock punch. Aerosite is going to come in and take out Monferno. Oh, forget what I said. This is going to be interesting yet again. Yeah, Monferno punished for uh, the questionable move choice. Mock punch uh, is four times resisted by Bug and Flying. Yeah, there should be some more fire involved, I guess, because fire burns bees. Like when I see a spider on my on my wall crawling up, I always take out the flamethrower. Yeah, me too. It's really handy. I most often have to search for a new house after that, but there we go, flamethrower it is. Ooh, flamethrower deals massive damage, taking out the combi. Just as I said it. So, uh, red team wins. Congratulations to all who have bet. There's a 28% payout as we're moving in some 8 bit music. It's a small payout, but 28 is greater than zero. That's all that matters. It's 28% payout, but 10 Poke Yen are 10 Poke Yen. We call them Polka Dommers. Yes, exactly. Never mind. So, uh, we're slowly moving to the side game. And I didn't have to speak extra slowly to wait till it actually gets there. Now I have nervously to check the walls of my commander booth for spiders. I get that covered. Alright. So, um... We're highly in favor of A's, it seems. I don't think the team will be able to turn this to any other move. 